And that's straight down the ground by Odiamba. Kenya's last-ditch attempt to qualify for the 2015 World Cup went up in smoke in a painful three-wicket loss to Scotland at the qualifiers in New Zealand last month. The man who led the team in that crucial match against Scotland is veteran player turned coach Steve Ticolo, who was recalled from retirement last year. He blames their poor performance on the previous technical bench. The team sort of had a rift in it. Uh, so when I took over, those were issues that I had to address. With such little time to prepare for the World Cup qualifiers, Ticolo believes the team's biggest Achilles heel was in the bowling. At times, bowlers you know, panicked when uh, put under pressure. They panicked and uh, we, you know, we gave away bad balls. But for retired cricketer Kennedy Obuya, a member of the dream team that reached the 2003 World Cup semi-final, the blame for Kenya's declining performance should fall squarely on the shoulders of the current chair lady, Jackie Jan Mohammed. She's not giving anybody an honor. She wants to run it the way she thinks is the best way. I had said I wanted to make it an all-inclusive system that we had. Mm. I've been in office for one year. So if anybody says I am not willing to listen to advice, I'd love to know what it is. It is easy to get caught up in the politics of Kenyan cricket, but moving forward it may be prudent for cricket stakeholders to share ideas, synchronize them and implement them together for the growth of the sport. We try to remove cricket from the so-called private clubs. Till 80s, rugby was a certain class a sport. Now rugby has gone from a certain class sport to everybody's sports. Every age group, under 13, under 15, under 17 and under 19, you have your age groups where you've got your schools, school, they get absorbed in the clubs, they then go into the provincial side, they then go into the emerging squad and your pinnacle is your national team. For now, Cricket Kenya has their sights set on organizing an under-17 inter-provincial tournament in April, while at the same time introducing the sport to Kiambu and Machakos County, among others. For Citizen Sports, I'm Waihiga Mwaura.